Hello to all incoming and current Ohio University students and recent graduates. The Ohio University Archives wants to hear from you about your COVID-19 experiences. We are collecting student stories about and observations of life during this pandemic. Pick any form of expression you prefer. So far, we've received songs, videos, art, dance, and essays. Ohio University students are, have been, and will always be a significant part of the university's unique and permanent history. Become a part of that history and contribute to the historical record kept by the university archives by sharing your story. Follow this link for more information and for submission instructions. Once you get to the submission page, first you'll find more information including guidelines, which will give you some idea of the types of materials you can contribute, and also some questions to think about as you're creating your submission. Keep in mind that these are just suggestions. We want your stories and your perspective. Next, you'll find a link to the donor agreement form. In order for your submission to actually become part of the archive, you must fill out, sign, and turn in this form. If you're contributing a group project or working with collaborators, each person who participates must fill out and submit the donor agreement. One thing you might want to consider is creating an oral history. We have instructions for how to do that and a release form because if you interview someone, they will have to sign the release in order for your interview and their story to become a part of the archive. If you're interested in the idea of an oral history but want more information or more guidance, Contact University Archivist Bill Kimog. His email is linked here. He has conducted several oral histories over the years and is a great resource. Finally, get ready to share your story with us. Tell us who you are, include your Ohio University email address, and your academic status as of spring 2020. Then tell us what type of material you're submitting, whether it's a digital file, a physical item, or you might have both. Please give your submission a title and provide a brief description. You can also use this description box to link to any digital files that are over 100 megabytes, which is too large to upload with this form, or use this box if you're uploading more than two files. Then you'll find space to upload two files as well as the donor agreement form. If you've created a physical item that you'd like to donate, or if you have any questions about any part of this project or process, please again email University Archivist Bill Kimock and he'll be happy to help you. Once again, here's the link to the submission form. Thank you for sharing your story. We can't wait to receive it.